All right, about two years ago, apparently, 110 weeks ago, I made this right here. Now, I made this with a with an add-on called Real Snow. At the time, Real Snow was something you had to go to a website and download and, and then install it. But now, Real Snow is built into Blender. Now, I'm going to show you how to activate it and how to use it. Now, it's an add-on just like any other, so you, you essentially just go to Preferences, go to your Add-ons tab, and then just type in Real Snow in the, in the search box, and then it will pop up, and then just check it to activate it. All right, Real Snow will show up right here, and it's a very simple interface. You really don't have much going on with it at all. So really, all you do is just select an object, select the height, and the amount of coverage you want and then just click on add snow all right now <clears throat> you can add it to you know irregular shaped objects like this I'll add this make this a little bit thinner point one and then add snow <clears throat> all right now with this table what I'm going to do I'm going to press tab to enter edit mode and as you can see I only have these faces back here selected but you could select whatever face you want so I'm gonna also select well let me go on the top side of you so I can actually see it better I'm going to put this on face select select these faces back here and then also select this face right here now I'm gonna press tab to exit edit mode now I just want to add snow to the faces I selected. So essentially, I just click, click this checkbox, select faces, and then I'll make this a little bit thick. 0.3, enter, and then add snow. All right, simple enough, right? Now let me show you what this looks like when it's rendered. Render image. <clears throat> And it doesn't look bad at all, in my opinion, for such a simple add-on. The only issues that I really see is like right here. The snow inside here would not be as thick as it is out here. This would be one of those cases where you would select the faces in here and do that separately from out here so that it would match. But let's just suppose you want to get rid of the snow and start all over. All you have to do is just select that snow. I mean, it's literally just another object, and then just delete it. All right, now you can bump this up to a crazy number, and then add snow. Now you have a ridiculous amount of snow. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Later, people.